All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing the brand new LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta at rainbow status and also with fully maxed out links. Now first things first, before we get into the gameplay, let's quickly go over his details. Starting with his leader skill, which is Worthy Rivals Category Key Plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 100, and 50% or Super Fizz type key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%. And then for his super attacks, he's got three of them. The first one is the 12 key super, Final Burst Cannon, which raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. The 18 key Big Bang Attack causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers the enemy's defense. And finally, we have the special unit super attack or partner super attack, which can be activated when you have 18 key or more. And there's also a Majin Buu Saga category ally, whose name includes Goku, attacking in the same turn. And the effect for this one is greatly raises attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and massively lowers the enemy's defense. So his passive is attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack and defense plus 4% each time key rises by 1 up to 70% and I believe it's fully maxed out when you have 18 key or more and the total boost he's able to get is actually 189% attack and defense since each of the 4% attack and defense boosts is calculated separately so 189% attack and defense at the maximum he also gets key plus 3 when the name of an ally who's attacking in the same turn or an enemy includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded, plus an additional key plus 3 when there is a Majibu Saga category ally whose name includes Goku attacking in the same turn. So if you have a Majin Buu Saga Goku attacking in the same turn as you, he gets key plus 6. And finally we have the active skill which is called Vegeta and Kekarot. And this can be activated when there is a Majin Buu Saga category ally whose name includes Goku attacking in the same turn starting from the third turn from start of battle once only. And the effect is key plus 1, attack plus 59% and defense plus 78% for one turn, which is absolutely insane. And then from there we have uh, the links, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Legendary Power. Prodigies, Royal Lineage, and Fierce Battle. And for his categories, he's got Worthy Rivals, Resurrected Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Otherworld Warriors, and Super Saiyan 2. So that is everything you need to know about the Vegeta. And let's get into the gameplay. On this first rotation, we got him linked up with the LR Goku and Vegeta, as well as support from Kid Buu. He's starting off with 130,000 defense, which is... Honestly, really good, but not like overly impressive. Obviously, he is going to get more defense though as we give him more orbs. So let's kick things off here with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would be a 20 key super. So he should be getting the biggest possible boost from his passive. But one interesting thing to note is that, as you can see, his defense actually didn't change. So from what I can gather, he actually doesn't get the attack and defense boost until he launches the super. So essentially, if you're trying to tank with him, you want to keep him in probably the second slot, because if you put him in the first slot and you have a really strong enemy that hits really hard, then he's not getting that additional defense boost until, you know, after he supers, right? So um, if the attacks come before he supers, then he's going to get hit still probably pretty hard depending on the stage, right? Uh, I completely missed what the first super attack stat was. It was probably like really good, right? Because the additional super was over 4 million. So what was the ultra super? Dude, why, why did I do this sometimes? Man, I talk too much. I get too excited about what, I, what I'm talking about. And I completely miss the attack stat or other stuff I'm trying to you know, pay attention to. So that's my bad. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys saw it. I'm sure you guys saw it. You can let me know in the comments down below uh, what the attacks that actually was. But like I said, I'm guessing it was really good because the additional 12 key super 
was 4 million. So the 18 key must have been at least 6, right? Maybe even higher? I'll pay attention this time. <laughs> I'll pay attention this time. Although we're not going to have the kid boo anymore, so that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, that's my bad. You know what, though? This showcase is not really as much for my benefit as it is for your benefit. So as long as you guys notice what it was, that's all that really matters. Okay, so on this rotation, uh, we have the two LR Vegitos. And I believe you can still get the... Um, you know, Majin Buu Saga Goku requirement fulfilled with the Int LR Vegito, even though they're Super Saiyan, so that's good. And I'm gonna actually keep this guy here because we get some more links activated. We get Super Saiyan at least with uh, this guy compared to this guy, right? So here we go. Is there a way to get an 18 key super this turn? I'm not really sure actually. Uh, no, that's great. Let's just go like this and let's just get a regular you know 17 key super and we'll see a different animation so that's good and let's see how much damage this does compared to the 18 key super from last turn okay so we're getting 3.35 here so not as impressive the reason that the last 12 key was actually over 4 million was because we greatly raised attack on the like partner super or, or unit super attack right so yeah still good damage but not nearly as good as it was the time before. And like I said, man, I don't remember what it was because I didn't see it. But I'm guessing it was really, really good. Okay, so essentially at this point in time, this Vegeta is pretty much doing exactly what I thought he was going to do. And that is hit really, really, really hard. Right, if he did get over 6 million, uh, which is what I, I'm predicting then that's extremely good, especially considering it's turn one. It's not like he's stacking or, you know, taking some time to, like, build up attack or anything like that. He's literally just, right off the bat, doing insane, insane numbers. There's many units in this game that can, like, build up to, like, well, not many, but, like, a few units in this game that can build up to, like, five, six million attack, right? But it takes them a while to do that. Whereas for this guy, I'm pretty sure right off the bat, he's just... Killing it. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's pop you. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me turn off my own music. Right? Let's do that first. And then I'm going to turn up the volume for the game. There we go. Uh, Here we go. And then I'm going to turn up my phone volume. It's a pretty uh complicated process, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. And now let's pop the active skill. There we go. Man, man, okay, like, honestly, even though this Vegeta overall doesn't have, in my opinion, the greatest animations, like, I do feel like it's a tier below, like, LR Blue Gogeta, or LR Vegito Blue, or UI Goku, uh, the new Vegito, so on and so forth. Um, even though I think overall his animations are not like quite there, that active skill has got to be one of my favorite animations in the entire game, man. I get chills every single time I see it, because I got chills when I saw it in the anime, you know, that monologue he gives. So, I mean, for if for nothing else, uh, you know, even, even if he wasn't like as broken as he is, like performance-wise, uh, I gotta have this unit. Like, I'm going hard for him. I'm gonna keep summoning until I get him. We're getting at least one copy. And uh, if you guys want to see those summons, then make sure to tune into my stream. Hold on. Yo. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's casual. Agile 10 million attacks that. No big deal. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say, man. That's, uh... 
that's that's pretty special right there. Okay, hold on, let me let me put on put the Saiyan Man out of rotation so we can actually get his support um, in a couple turns. But damn. I mean, yeah, like I said, the Vegeta's doing exactly what I thought he would do when I first saw the details on paper. I was like, this dude's going to hit so hard, but he's also going to be a very good tank. I didn't know, I didn't know that he gets the defense after he supers though, right? So like, um, I mean, as far as like tanking goes, he's going to be a little bit more situational than like other units that like get the defense immediately or like as soon as you give him the orbs, they get that defense. Uh, he works a little bit differently from that, from what I can tell at least, at least based on my initial impressions. Just be clear, just be clear. I'm not like 100%, you know, knowledgeable about this guy yet, because I'm still just using him for like the first or like second or third time, right? Like I did test him out a little bit before I started the showcase, but I still don't have much experience using him. So I could be wrong about that. But from what I can tell, you know, when we give him the orbs, he doesn't get that additional defense immediately, which means that if he's taking attacks before he supers, then he's not going to be as tanky as he could be, right? And once you, you know, launch the attack, then he becomes very tanky because he gets a, all, all that defense um, from his passive. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. I think I think it is pretty important to know. Uh, let's give him, I guess, the two orbs here. That's still a full 24 or a full 18 key super. And we can get the partner super attack. And this time we can pay attention to what the actual attack stat is. So, you know, we're all on the same page. Because right now, you guys know what it was. But I don't know what it was. So, here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was pretty close, actually. I said 6.5, right? Or what did I say before? I said over 6 million. 6.25. Just casually putting out numbers like this, man. Just casually... Throwing out numbers like 6 million, 10 million, like it's nothing. <laughs> this dude is crazy. <gasps> Yo, this is one Vegeta that definitely did not get the shaft. All right, we can complain about other Vegetas in the past. And, you know, you know Bandai has definitely been guilty of shafting Vegeta in general as a character in this game. But that being said, this is one Vegeta that we can never make the case for, okay, because he is a monster. He is one of the best LRs in the game right now, no question about that. I don't know if I'm ready to give him like the best LR title, I don't know if I can say that right now, I have to probably use him a little bit more, have some more experience with him, but I would definitely say that he's in the top 10 for sure, maybe top 5. Um. I don't know, like, I, I probably wouldn't put him in the top three. Like, I don't think he's better than Vegito. I don't think he's better than Wu, Wuhan. At least so far, like right now, I don't feel like he is. But obviously, as you guys who have watched my videos in the past know, I never want to, like, ever call a unit that I'm doing an, an, an initial... Why can't I say that word? <laughs> that I'm doing an initial um, showcase for. I never want to call them the best unit because... I just don't have enough experience with them, and it's just too, I think, a little bit premature to call a unit the best unit in the game when it's my first time literally using them. That being said, though, I do think that he's up there. I do think he's definitely high on the list of best LRs, like at the at close to the top of that list. And uh, if you guys have your own opinions, which most of you guys probably do, then let me know in the comments down below where you think this guy ranks among all the LRs in the game. Okay, do you think he's in the top 5, top 10, or higher, lower, whatever it may be, let me know, because I would love to hear your opinions. Okay, that being said, I think we're going to end the showcase soon, because there's really not much else to see. So, there you have it. LR, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. Very, very impressive. And uh, honestly, the animations and also the card art, they're both growing on me a little bit. Because when, when I first saw the card art, just like without the animations, without any effects, I was like, eh, they look, it looks okay. It's not my favorite. But now after seeing it with the effects, I'm like, this actually looks really good. So uh, yeah, guys, that is today's showcase. That is the LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button 
to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.